Dark matter. I get asked what it is, and my best answer is, we haven't a clue. <laughs> we don't know what it is. We look out in the universe, and 85% of all the gravity that's out there has some mysterious unknown source. We add up all the stars, the galaxies, the planets, the comets, the black holes, the dark clouds, everything out there that we can see, touch, smell, or taste, and it doesn't add up to give us the gravity that we see operating in this universe. So really, we should be calling it the dark force, because we don't know if it's made of matter. Like, it could be a profound misnomer, sending people off in thought directions that might not really be uh, the right path. So dark matter is just simply what we call this thing about which we know nothing, responsible for 85% of the gravity of the cosmos. We've known about dark matter since the 1930s. Back then it was called missing mass. That's what it was called, because yeah, there's gotta be some mass. Where is it? We can't find it. It's gotta be here somewhere, because we got the gravity. If you have the gravity, you gotta have the mass. Mass and gravity go together. Uh, it's really dark gravity. Actually, we shouldn't call it anything. We should call it Fred. <laughs> Something that has no meaning, because we don't know what it is to call it. But it, has been a, it is the longest standing unsolved problem in modern astrophysics. Well, yeah, you, hold on. Hi. I keep seeing this symbol oh. in the accounts from last year. It's, it's all over the place. I don't know what it means. That's the reason Kevin got fired. It's his magic number. He used to use it to balance his accounts. He used to call it a Kalevin. He told Dwight, a mistake plus Kalevin gets you home by seven. He was home by 4.45 that day. Dark matter, dark energy. Just these, I, we don't know what dark matter is. It's 85% of the gravity of the universe. Is dark matter, is something we don't know what it is. So we just call it dark matter. We don't know what, the universe has some pressure in the vacuum that's making it accelerate in its expansion against the wishes of gravity. We don't know what that is either. We call that dark energy. This sounds like we know something. We don't. I could call this Fred and Wilma, okay? He used to call it a Kalevin. It doesn't matter. We are dumb stupid about what these two things are. A mistake plus Kalevin gets you home by seven. So everything we know about the universe, what we're made of, galaxies, stars, planets, that's all right here. So according to this chart, we are 96% stupid. He was home by 4.45 that day. You're, you're happy about that, apparently. I, I don't know what that means, uh, you know. <laughs> are you applauding my honesty? Are you applauding, you're celebrating the stupidity of our species? It's his magic number, he used to use it to balance his accounts. We don't know what dark matter is, it's 85% of the gravity of the universe is something we don't know what it is. He used to call it a Kalevin. A mistake plus Kalevin gets you home by seven. This sounds like we know something. We don't. A mistake plus Kalevin gets you home by seven. He was home by 4.45 that day. We are dumb stupid about what these two things are. We are dumb stupid about what these two things are. This sounds like we know something. We don't.